Oh, I didn't even see you guys filming. Oh, that song? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it's on Spotify and iTunes. Let me take that from you. Thank there you, you Jordan. Go, Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. Another day, another vlog. You know what I'm saying? You're starting today's vlog up at my warehouse. Once again, I just absolutely love hanging out here. It is so surreal having all this space. I cannot wait to build the mini ramp. So, me, Jordan, and Jacob are up here. I am parking my GTR here for the day because we're headed down to San Diego. We're coming back tonight because I have to be here tonight for some stuff. And then tomorrow, I'm going to LA with the GTR. Basically, the whole objective is to park the GTR in here. That way, I can just like not worry about it. And then we're gonna drive in Jordan's car down to San Diego. It's gonna be dope. Also, I have a little bit of a story to tell you guys later on the vlog. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen that I have a giant gash in my leg. I'll tell you guys about that in a second. All right, I gotta get a quick Guaczilla photo here in the warehouse. Corvette, Corvette is great. I haven't given you guys an update on that. It's just gonna chill here. Not gonna drive it. I, I genuinely just bought it because of my grandpa's and I love the car. This is always gonna be here. If you guys come and hang out at the warehouse, you can be able to see it yourself. All right, so if you guys wanna follow my car, it's Guac underscore Zilla. Boom. Don't forget, guys, we got pens, we got pencils, we got little like pencil and pen pouches if you get both of those. And we got tons of new school backpacks. Check out all of these. Oh, and don't even forget, we got USB drives. Notebooks, different notebooks, more notebooks. This is a reoccurring thing. Every time anyone gets a tour of the warehouse, they usually pick out a ton of stuff. So Jacob's doing that right now. Uh, Jacob, catch. Famous wall. You gotta sign the wall before we go. Look, it's growing, it's growing. I love his signature more than anyone. Why is that such a good D? That's what she said. <laughs> that is a good D. There you go, man. I just opened Jordan's trunk to put my backpack in here. And Jake's scooter's in here, and he got the T-Fox wheels, guys. I haven't told anyone this. I might be building a mini ramp in my backyard as well as the warehouse. So we're gonna be start doing a ton of scootering and skateboarding and all that fun stuff. I haven't even got the plans to it yet. I emailed the guy a few days ago, so uh, hopefully that's gonna happen really soon. Okay, so this vlog is gonna be extremely jumpy, but um, basically we're at a tattoo place now, they are both about to get some tats really quick. Sadly, in California, you can't get a tattoo unless you're over 18. Like, um, there's no, like, at any normal tattoo place, at least. But, uh, yeah, I don't really have any idea of anything I want. But they're about to get some. Bro, do you think this is a bad idea? Should they not be getting tattoos right now? This dog could eat my face. I don't know him. He's got a bandana, though, so I, I trust him. Jordan's deciding where to get his tattoo right now. Kids, I don't, I don't advise. And then Jacob's already good. It's going down right now, Jacob. Tats. You getting some tats? Boy, look at where we are. Look at where we are. Look at this. This is sick. Okay, we're literally eating across the street. Sorry for the music. And then now he's deciding he's getting tattoos. Let me see your arms. So look, okay, let's get the skin. It's gonna go, it's all clean. It's all clean. For about 10 more minutes, it's gonna be clean. Jacob, it's about to happen. How you feeling? I'm pumped, bro. I'm ready. You're pumped? Yeah. Jordan's already over there. He's going. This is so funny. I'm just like chilling here, filming them. And he's just like chilling, doing his thing. He's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. Hi, right, he's about to go. He's going in. And uh, looks like we're done. What do you think, boy? So good. You hyped? Pretty good for a little last minute decision. Oh. Is it good? Is it good? Are we rolling? Is the camera on? Oh, All right, so check this out right now. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you would have seen, I posted a few tweets last night in the middle of the night, basically a big gash on my foot. I actually was like tripping out. I was like, do I need stitches? So I tweeted you guys to tell me if I need stitches or not. Yeah, and tripping out. <laughs> I was like, this is bad. Like it was really deep and uh, I thought I need stitches. But anyways, we're gonna give you guys a quick little like rundown on how I got this giant gash in my foot. If you guys wanna see the uncensored photo, just make sure you follow me on Twitter and it's like on my timeline right now, but I'm, I can't show it on the YouTube video because it's kind of graphic and a little edgy. Like, I don't know, you guys probably gonna see it and be like, Tanner, that wasn't even bad, like you're tripping out. But just so, for the people, if you guys don't like blood, I'm not gonna show the actual cut, but this is gonna be a story time. Pretty crazy story. So sit back, grab some popcorn, enjoy the show. We're just gonna get right into this. Okay, so we're gonna start this out in the very beginning, makes sense? So this is the setting. We're at Jordan's house. Me, Jordan, and Jacob are all hanging out. So you guys know how I am in the vlogs. I'm super hyper all the time. We're always doing different things. Well, that's how me and Jacob are in real life. We like can't sit still. I'm pretty sure I have ADD, so. Me too. Jordan gets a phone call and he's like, guys, I have to talk on the phone. I'm gonna go in the backyard. Me and Jacob were like hyped as frick. We're running all over the place. Like we were just like super excited to do a bunch of different things. So Jordan goes out in the backyard. We try to go out there and like talk to Jordan and like mess with him and stuff. Jordan's not having it because he's having a phone call, serious stuff. He and he's, he was like getting really mad. He's being really rude. Were you mad at us? Were we being annoying? So I'm mad at you guys. I don't get mad at people. You were, he was actually very mad. That's a lie. I've never seen Jordan so mad at me for anything. So he's like, guys, like, stop. This is not funny. But me and Jacob were like, you know, we're, we're, we're instigating. We're Come like, on, we need to do something. To us? We need to do something. So we go outside. We're, we're literally like playing in like the middle of the street, walking around, uh, like 
do whatever it is that we can find to do. This is after we tried to go back there and talk to him while he's on the phone and like mess with him. He's getting pissed off at us. So we're like, we need to go do something. We walk outside, we're playing around like I said, and then we're like, oh my God, we have a brilliant idea. I don't know how it is in your neighborhood, but basically there's usually like street, 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 they all go over. And it's like usually a house on this street, a house on this street, and then their backyards kind of connect. And we're walking around the corner down his street and we notice there's this really, really big wall. Um, we're like, oh my God, yo, we should keep messing with Jordan because we're hyped, right? Basically, this is what happened. We agreed that we were gonna go try climbing up the wall. We thought there was gonna be a brick wall between the houses that we could walk across. All the way, he, he lives four houses up from this street. So we had to go four backyards on this wall, right? Like, th this is just us like For, oh, trying to entertain ourselves. The reason we wanted to do that is because we wanted to spy on Jordan's phone call because he wouldn't let us just be back there. So we were trying to sneak into the backyard. Like literally, I know this doesn't sound we like, like we're like promising this is what we're doing. Yo, you guys sound like 12 year olds. First of all, we're like, okay, so there's the wall that we see and then the wall that would be going across is going this way. Hopefully this is making sense. Try to close your eyes, imagine this. We walk around the front of this random person's house. We climb up on their wall to try to walk this way and then this way, but there's a tree. So we're like, oh no. Keep in mind, we're also barefoot. Got, why? Don't really know. We both jump down onto like gravel, hurt both our feet. I, we like running around like, oh my God, that was a bad idea. We're running back around and we try to go between this little pathway where there's bushes and then the wall. So we climb through um, all the bushes so that we can get past the tree. Then we hop up on the wall and this wall is like this thin, like it's tiny. So we're like trying to like scurry our way this way. So then we can hopefully find a wall that goes this way so we can walk along the wall four houses up and then like mess with Jordan some more basically we get there and we realize there's no I, my, I was completely wrong there was no wall for us to walk on so we're like crap do we jump in people's backyards and go through people's backyards like it was just a bad situation it was a bad because... idea and a bad situation everyone has those days you know it probably wasn't our best bet but we're like literally at this point for the vlog and off the vlog we just like we just like going for it yeah we, like so, going all out yeah and the thing is we walked already along the wall pretty far where there was bushes and stuff if we wanted to jump off the wall, so we weren't gonna do that. So we were like, we'll just go into the people's backyard. Yeah, this sounds really bad, but <laughs> I'm being honest it. with you guys. So so we hop in this first person's backyard and then we're like running across and then there's like a wooden fence. We hop the wooden fence. Jacob's like, bro, what are the odds I go jump in the pool? We do one in 10, both guess the same number. Jacob jumps in some random person's pool. We're not even vlogging this. I don't know why we didn't film this. We're both super hyped. Jacob jumps in the pool. I'm like, all right, let's keep going. I'm ready, I'm ready. So we climb through these bushes in this person's backyard. By the way, there could have been like spike plants or rose bushes or whatever. Didn't even think about we just, that. Yeah, we weren't thinking when we were in the moment. We just were going for it, we are having fun. Yeah, okay, and, and so then, dumb. next thing is we go to hop over the second fence. Then we hear this massive dog. I'm thinking like Rottweiler, Pitbull, some scary, scary Rotten. dog. Rotten. Jacob goes, Tanner, there's a dog. And I'm thinking, I literally was like, so like sketched out about the whole situation. I thought he was talking about there being a dog in the house with the pool, so the second house. So I'm like, yo, we gotta go then. So I hop the fence, jump into another person's backyard. I hear a dog start barking like literally 10 feet from me. I look up and I, I, I was trying to look to see if it was in this yard. This was all a span of 10 seconds. Then I realized Jacob meant that there's a dog on this yard. So Jacob was already planning on getting I, out of the I second. I was in the second house, Tanner was in the third house. I had already jumped over. I hear, guys, I'm not exaggerating like this. Just imagine like a freaking dinosaur like roaring at you. I'm That's scared. what it sounded, it scared me. This, this dog could come up and like bite my leg off at any moment. So I'm like, Oh, no good, no good. So I immediately hop back over this fence, land on all this like bark and this like sketchy, like it hurt my feet again. <laughs> you landed on bark. Cause the dog. Do Cause the do punny. Dogs. Mm -hmm. Alright, keep going. Alright, so at this point, do dog scared me. Jacob stayed in the second yard. I was in the third yard for two seconds. So I hop back over, Jacob's here. And then Jacob's like, bro, do you want to go in the pool again? And I'm like, Jacob, that's too much, bro. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like actually thinking about like our safety. Wait, there's a dog barking and keep in mind, it's like probably 1230. It's late. I'm like, okay, this dog is barking. It's going to wake people up. People are going to come out and probably shoot us because we're in someone's backyard. Yeah, not okay. Don't do that. I don't advise that to anybody. So we're, I'm like, bro, we need to get out of this yard because this dog's barking and it's going to like cause too much attention to us. I'm like, all right, yo, let's go. This is where it all happens. Okay. So you ever seen, it, you guys might have it in your yard, there's these lights that you can like literally shove in the ground and they're like kind of like little like cone things. Jacob starts running and I'm like, all right, let's dip. So I'm running, it's, it's pitch black outside. No, there's no like side house lights that automatically turn on. So anyways, the light thing I was talking about. So I'm pretty sure this is what I hit. I could be wrong. It could have been a brick. It could have been a freaking knife. I don't know what was in their yard. So I'm running super fast. This is like a side yard now. Like if you guys have a side gate on the side of your house, we're running this way. And all of a sudden I'm like literally sprinting as like fast as I can in my bare feet on concrete and bark and whatever else. And then I just absolutely just destroy my foot. I kick the absolute crap out of whatever it is that I kicked. 
and I'm like, oh, my whole foot goes numb. Jacob had already like hopped the fence and it was like super wild. Keep in mind, we didn't think this through. We were so like, get out of this backyard. There was a gate, like we could have opened the gate and walked through it. Oh. But my foot's like in pain and I'm like, bro, this is bad. So I just am like, I need to get out of here. I hopped the fence. Jacob had already hopped the fence. So then I run in the middle of the street and I'm not even thinking about my foot. I look down, Jacob's standing next to me. And what, what did I do? He just starts like spazzing out. He's like, bro, bro, my foot, my foot. I need stitches. I'm just like, dude, I think you're fine. I looked down and it was like a pretty gnarly gash. If, like, if you guys saw the photo on my Twitter. If you haven't seen it, go look at it because you have look to at see it. this. We're like, bro, we should go inside and tell Jordan. I start freaking out. I'm like, bro, I think I need stitches. Both tell me, they're like, no, you're absolutely fine. You don't need stitches. And I'm and I'm like, no, I need stitches, bro. And he's like, it's not even bleeding. And then I'm not a doctor, but I'm pretty sure when it's not bleeding, that means it's deep. deep. Long story short, or that was a long story, but now we're going to... Uh, kind of sh shorten the ending to it. Um, I'm like, I need stitches. Jordan's like, no, I got you. Uh, he got me band-aids and then I'm, I'm a like- a doctor, bro. He's a doctor. So he gives me these little tiny like thumb band. Like they're this big, these little tiny band-aids. <laughs> like, what is that gonna do? Yo, that's all we had, bro. So we put the band-aids on two hours later. I'm like, bro, my foot, like it wasn't bleeding, but then I look down, my whole foot is wet. Like it starts leaking out of the band-aid, like blood everywhere on my foot. And then I'm like, okay, like I either need new band-aids or I'm gonna need a super glue. So we go in the bathroom. I end up somehow finding super glue while looking for band-aids. And then I pinched my foot together, like the cut. And then um, the, here's, the, here's another funny thing. The super glue was like super old. So it was like already dried in uh, the tube. So I cut the tube in half got scissors and then put a little prong of the scissor inside the super glue and pulled a string of super glue out and then laid it down on my foot while while Jacob held it shut. This is what it looks like while um, after I had super glued it. So it looks super clean. And then basically, uh, did I, I didn't put bandits on it. So it was just super glue. And then we went to sleep. I woke up and half of it, I didn't take any pictures of this. Pretty much the whole story. We're just like, we're being stupid and we were too hyped and we were trying to mess with Jordan and we were too, way too hyper, had way too much energy. I cut my foot. I still have not gone to the hospital. My sock, I'll show you guys. So if you guys can see this, it looks to be already healing. That could just be super glue. Looks good though. It looks super good. See, see, if you guys saw the photo on my Twitter, this looks so much better than uh, the photo on Twitter. It's already super glue. It's been super glue for probably 24 hours now. And uh, it looks pretty good. So I think that's gonna do it for the story time. Uh, yeah, pretty crazy story. That's how I got like an inch and a half deep gash in my foot at like 12.30 at night. I just thought that'd be a really fun, I've never done a story time. I've never like talked to the camera or like anything like telling you guys a story, but I think that was really fun. And uh, I love telling it to you guys. It was actually cool. It was actually it was really fun time. explaining it. And now we'll always remember this scar on yeah. his foot. Oh yeah, uh, this is. I'm definitely gonna get a scar. I think I also need <laughs> more super glue because of the end of it still bleeding. Also, I did disinfect it for anyone that's like, oh my god, it's gonna get infected. I poured that that stuff on it that burns and sizzles. Uh. That is the story of how I cut my foot. So that is gonna do it for today's vlog. We are headed back up to Temecula, and I'm going to LA. By the time you're seeing this, I'm in LA, and uh, it's gonna be a really dope vlog tomorrow. We got a lot of YouTubers that I'm gonna meet up with. Uh, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. If you enjoyed, be sure to drop a thumbs up. Peace out. We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. And peace, guys. And roll the outro, right? That's the thing. Boom. I wish you were so.